Welcome to Cozy How To, your place for a warm, snuggly learning experience. This is lesson number 10 for PowerPoint 2013, which is the version we'll be using from now on, and eventually we'll be upgrading to version 2016. In this lesson, we're going to go over how to add sections, which is basically a way for you to add a set or group of slides together and give it a title for that particular section. For example, you might have a marketing section, you might have an introduction section, you know, depending on what type of presentation you're doing. And you may want to group those things so that you can separate the parts for each individual that may be a part of that presentation. Or it may just be a way for you to organize it for yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a blank new document open in PowerPoint. And once you have that open, we're going to go to the Slides tab. And we're going to right click on the first blank slide. And we're going to look for the option that says Add Section. And we're going to go ahead and left click on that. And it's going to create a new section that's going to group this slide within it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and right click on the untitled section. We're going to click on rename section. In this case, I'm going to call this section introduction. And then I'm going to click on the rename key. And after we rename that to introduction, we're going to go ahead and go to the new slide button. And if we left click on that, it's going to add a new slide. If we click on it again, we'll add a third slide. If we collapse this section by clicking on a collapse key, you'll see that it says that we have a total of three slides in there for the introduction section. Let's go ahead and right click in a blank space in the slide tab again. We're going to click on add section and this time we're going to call this marketing. So if we right click on it, click on rename section and then call it marketing. And then we're going to click on rename and then for this group we're going to add some more new slides and the way that we know that we have this particular section highlighted is it will be an orangish red color and if it's orangish red we're going to click on the new slide button again So let's go ahead and left click on that and you'll see that it adds a new slide to the marketing section and I'm going to add a couple more and then I'm going to collapse this section by clicking on the collapse key so now we have a total of three slides in introduction and three in marketing okay so if you were presenting this as a presentation you would know the total number of slides for each section that needs to be covered. But let's go ahead and go to the view tab in the ribbon. Left click on that and then we're going to click on the slide sorter view. Now within the slide sorter view I'm going to go ahead and expand both of these groups and you'll see that it shows all the slides and we can see everything at once whereas if we were in the normal view, if we click on normal view here, you'll see that we would have to scroll up and down to see everything. So the slide sorter view really gives you a quick overview of everything and you can see most of the things that are going on within your presentation within just this view. Now you can also organize it, hence the name, Slide Sorter. For example, if I wanted to move slide number five, I would just left click on it and drag it into the introduction section. If I wanted to move slide number six, I would left click it and drag it into the introduction. So you basically can sort everything how you want it to be, okay? Just by left clicking and dragging it into the section that you want it to be in. In this case, I'm gonna put things back to normal and we again have three slides in both sections. The other thing that's nice about this view is you can quickly see what slides each person should be going over. So for example, the person that's handling, handling the introduction should be looking at slides one through three. The person handling marketing should be looking at slides four to six. So this is the basics of how to use the ad section and the benefits of it. If you found this video to be helpful, don't forget to embed, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for future videos.